Okay, you're right. Welcome to Squares and Square Roots. Uh, today you'll be learning about what squaring a number is and what finding the square root of a number is. And I put a picture of Ron Burgundy because it's hilarious. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, what are they? Finding the square or squaring a number means multiplying the number by itself. Most of you will probably be pretty familiar with this. So, what does that actually look like? How do we actually represent squaring a number in mathematics? 3 squared. That's how we, we draw it. We draw the square or the 2 on the top right hand side of the number in small font. 4 squared, 5 squared. This is probably pretty familiar to a few of you. Okay, That's just how I draw it. Uh, the main thing to take into account and the main thing to remember guys is that when you see a number like 5 squared this two represents squared, not multiplication. It represents squared, and there's a key difference with that. That's the biggest mistake most people make. They think that's five times two. No, no, no. Squaring means multiplying a number by itself. So if I had five squared, that's equal to five times five. That's really important. Do not get that confused. That is not five times two. That is five squared which means I'm multiplying 5 by itself. That's squaring a number, finding the square. What do I do when I'm finding the square root? Okay, I'm doing the opposite. It's pretty straightforward. I'm doing the opposite. So we have a fancy word in mathematics for opposite, and I want you guys to start using it. It's called the inverse. So the inverse, or the opposite of squaring a number, like we just did, is to find its square root. Now how do I represent square root mathematically? Okay. The first thing, this symbol here represents square root, okay? That's how we draw it. And within it, we draw our number. So say I want to find the square root of 25, okay? I, the square root of 25 is what number multiplied by itself is 25? Because we're doing it the opposite, okay? Now, I know off my head, five fives are 25. So the square root of 25 is five. It's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is to be able to understand that that is how I represent mathematically square root. That is how I represent mathematically square. Okay, let's look at some examples. Uh, the reason why I put an example is in here is because we have this word evaluate. You'll see this a lot in mathematics. What does evaluate mean? It means work it out. Give me the answer. So if I had 12 squared... That's not 24, it's not 12 times 2, okay? Don't get yourself confused, it's not 12 times 2. That is not my correct answer. It is in fact 12, oh, I'm using the wrong colour. It is in fact 12 multiplied by 12. So because we're really good and we know our 12 times tables, we know that 12 multiplied by 12 equals 144. Okay, 12 multiplied by 12, 144. That's how I show my working. First line, 12 multiplied by 12, second line, answer. Okay, now finding the square root of a number. Again, I have evaluate and I've popped two examples in here. So if we have evaluate, actually let's do 64 first. Evaluate 64, the square root of 64. So it's asking us to find the square root of 64. Now, the first thing I want you to be able to do is try and do a mental calculation in your head. What times what is 64? Okay, and I know if I go off here and do some working to the side, I can work that out that it's 8 times 8. 8 times 8 is 64. Okay, cool. So the square root of 64 is 8. Okay, make sure that you do the mental calculation. Try and do the mental calculations first. If you can't, however, I'm happy for you to guys to use the calculator, but 64 is a pretty easy one, so you should have got it. Let's rub that out, and I can't rub this out. Oh, I can rub that out. Excellent. Good times. Okay, let's do another example here. So let's have a look at our other example. That was a whole number. That one was pretty easy. Let's do the square root of 74, for example, 72, for example. That's a little bit harder. Okay, so square root of 72, no whole, two, no whole number multiplied by itself is equal to 72. But if I put it into my calculator, the answer that I come out with for the square root of 72 is 
five. Okay, I've got an answer with a decimal place. So I'm thinking usually two decimal places tends to be a good, uh, a good way in order to round this up. Okay, so two decimal places. I've got four eight five. My answer becomes eight point four. I look to the five, which means this goes up. So it comes eight point four nine. And that's it, guys. That is squares and square roots. Really straightforward.